Dylan destroys Michael's house, Ariston once again, grounded. And yes, I decided to try out a Dylan video in Plotagon, because why not? Anyway, let's go! Man, I am so bored. Also, I just wish that Cecilia would take me to be her boyfriend. Could Vance at least give me another girlfriend so that I can feel better? No Dylan. You will not be getting a girlfriend until I say so. Because you need to learn how to stop bothering Cecilia and forcefully kissing girls at restaurants. Oh whatever. This is my life. Now she's with that British nerd Michael. Even worse. I got suspended for backtalking Mr. Schnitger and got grounded for it. What should I do to pass the time? Okay stop with the darn music. I've got it. I will get my revenge on Michael by completely destroying his house. That will leave him upset and traumatized, and he'll cry like a little baby like he always does. <laughs> when Dylan crawled out of his window, he walked his way over to Michael's house. This is good. It feels nice to get some Plotagon air rather than in the land of beyond, where everything is two-dimensional. Perfect! I made it to Michael's house. Now it's time for the real fun to begin. Golly. That felt so good. But now I have to head home before someone finds out. Alright you naughty boy. It's time for breakfast. You know darn well what you're eating. Ah, uh, Lumpy potatoes again? I eat these all the dang time. Could I just eat normal food during one, just one, grounding? I promise I'll be a good boy from now on. No Dylan. You know the rules. Whenever you're grounded, the only meal you'll be restricted to is lumpy potatoes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Now stop complaining or else you'll be eating absolutely nothing, as in, you'll starve. Fine. I'll eat lumpy potatoes again. Whatever gets you to shut up. Fine I'll eat lumpy potatoes again whatever gets you to shut up. You don't ever talk to your father like that young man. A few hours later, at the end of the school day, so, do you want to hang out for a bit after school? It's Friday, so we don't have to work. Of course I do. You're like, an older brother to me. Ah, thanks for that. Same goes to you. You're like my only sibling. Look at Cecilia and Michael. Aren't they a happy couple? I agree with you Todd. The best part is that Dylan isn't here to ruin their relationship, because he's suspended for backdocking at a teacher. Now I reckon we get going. We're going to miss the bus. You know, something here feels a weeny bit funny. Um, are you saying that someone's here to rob us? I don't know yet. I can see through the window of that door that something's out of line, so hopefully it's not too bad. Oh my good aunt. My house. It's all trashed. I wonder how this happened. Now, there is a strange scent in this house. What could that ever possibly? Wait, is that smoke? And I think it's coming from the kitchen. I've got to go there, safely of course, and check the premises. Oh my flippin' god. The kitchen is on fire. I've got to get out of here, quick. So firefighter Brooklyn T guy came over and put out the fire. But Michael then received some pretty shocking news. I'm very sorry Mr. Dagger, but it looks like we're going to have to redo your kitchen, and your bedroom, which if you didn't know, was flooded in ashen dust. Remodeling will unfortunately take about two weeks at the bare minimum. 
so you're going to have to find another place to live. Sorry! What? This must be a joke. I don't know another place where I can live. But hey, look on the bright side, at least we know it wasn't you, because you were at school. So you don't have to pay for any damages. The person who was responsible will pay double. Oh well. I guess this is another terrible day at Vyond slash Plotagon City. I'm starting to regret moving away from my parents, but it's them who has the financial problems, not me. <laughs> there there Michael. I'm sure we can find some place for you to reside at. I just can't believe that someone randomly broke into my house, trashed it, and set the kitchen aflame. Whoever did this is such a monster. <laughs> Thanks for that, but I don't think that will calm me down. I'm still stressed out. I can tell. I'm usually the one that's the best at helping you and comforting you so that you can calm down, but I see you lost your home now. But now I don't know where I'm going to live for the next few weeks. I've got it. You're always more than welcome to stay with me and my family. I'm sure that my mom and dad will understand. I guess you're right. But then I wonder, who could have been the one to do this? Who could be stupid enough to randomly break into an autistic boy's home and give him such treatment? Wait, just, a, minute. If we were at school, and Dylan was suspended, then I think it was. GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
But yeah, you should probably thank me too. And that's why you're my favorite friend of them all. There's no one else that can beat our friendship, heck, relationship. Don't mention it. Like I said numerous times before, Mrs. Ramirez was right the entire time. Man, I'm glad that Michael's happy now. Also, Michael and my daughter are in such a very happy relationship. I'm proud of my daughter for escaping her shyness and helping a boy with special needs. Now to bribe her to give me, Amy, and Henry front row seats if they ever get married, which is very likely, in a few years of course. A few weeks later, Michael's home finally got redone. So Michael's lifestyle went back to normal, and they all, except for Dylan, lived happily, ever, after. That's all folks. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and slam the notification bell to know whenever I post something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.